hello today we see fdisk command fdisk command stands for fixed disk or format disk normally fdisk command is used to create partition or delete partition or to edit the existing partition which is created during the os installation the important things to be noted in fdisk command is uh, the fdisk commands needs root privilege and only four uh, default partitions should be created and more than uh, partitions creating it should be considered as extended partition in fdisk the basic syntax of fdisk command is fdisk and the options and the partition name at first we can see how to display the partitions available in the disk just fdisk hyphen l here it shows the uh, default disk that is the device name slash device slash sda and the size of the disk and the uh, size in bytes and it, uh, it also shows the heads and the sectors and number of cylinders in this disk and here these are the partitions we made in the disk at initial level that is during OS installation it's sda1 for boot that is booting and the type is linux and the sda2 for uh, the second partition and the type is linux and sda3 for linux swap partition if we have only one device in uh, which is connected here uh, then no problem of using fdisk hyphen l whereas here there are so many devices connected so instead of giving simply fdisk hyphen l i can give fdisk hyphen l space slash device sdb so it helps to view only the particular disk next we can see how to create a new partition so here fdisk hyphen l sda so here there are uh, default four partition so we can't create the default partition here only we can create in the extended partition alone so to create a partition that is new partition in sda device just type fdisk space then the device name it will prompt you to the new window and while uh, pressing M key you can get the available commands in fdisk here you can see to add a new partition uh, option n is to be used so now I'm typing n and it's asking for the first cylinder so so first cylinder you just give default and for the second cylinder you have to give the size that is plus 10 G that is 10 GB I am giving so now uh, the another partition with 10 GB is created to view the partition P option is used that is to print the partition table so while typing P you can see the newly created partition is DFI with 10 GB in Linux type after the partition table is altered just type W for saving and quitting the file so type w and it's saved uh, after that saved you can read the warning message that is only the partition table will be altered permanently only after the next reboot or using the port probe command next we can see how to delete a partition in the specified disk so yes disk device sda i am printing there you can see the fifth partition so i am now in deleting this sdfi partition to delete you have to use the option t so now delete it will ask for a partition number so i am deleting now the fifth partition so i am giving five and enter now the partition is deleted so the next we can see how to format the partition the basic syntax to format the partition is mkfs.ext4 ext4 and the device name the important thing to be noted while running this command is the device name should be mentioned properly if not it leads to data loss since it will erase the entire content in the specific device name so here so 
here you can see the seven partitions in SDA. So now I am going to format SDA seven. MKFS dot ext four device SDA seven. And here you have to mention the correct device name. Instead of giving SDA seven, if you give just SDA alone, it will delete the entire contents in SDA. So you should be noted while giving this device name. So slash device slash SDA. Now I am going to format. After typing the command, just press enter. So it will format and it will check the block size, waste type, and fragment size. So at last, you can see uh, the process is done. Next, how can we see the particular size of the partition? So F is hyphen L. F does hyphen L device SDA. So in for example uh, for SDA we have the partition is two zero four eight triple zero and double zero. So instead of going inside and seeing this, we can use the option hyphen S. And now SDA and the device name SDA two. So outside itself you can see the size of the partition. The next we see how to toggle the boot flag. So while running F disk as device SDA that is while listing uh, the SDA device you can see the boot flag is in SDA1. It can be changed to any partition we create. So now I am changing F disk with SDA and here I am giving the option A so it will ask for the partition number now I am giving the partition 2 and now I am printing so here you can see the boot flag is assigned to partition 2 since this is the default partition it can't change completely to the second partition so only after the reboot or part probe command uh, it will change completely to second partition. In FTS, you can uh, create so many partitions uh, based on your disk availability. So the partition types which accepts the FTS command that is accepts the Linux is shown below. FTS device SDA here the L option to list known partition types. So while typing L, we can see the several partition types that accepts the partition creating in this system. And these are the basic commands, uh, that is basic usages of FPS command. Uh, excluding these basic commands, we have some expert commands. FDISC slash device SDA and listing M you can see here X option for extra functionality that is experts only X so now I am displaying the commands these are the expert commands this command should not be used by the normal user that is uh, this command should be used only by the well-known person of FDS command so it should not be used normally these are the basic usages of FDS command thank you